So now we move on to the 4-5 matchup in which the Cleveland Cavaliers and New York Knicks will battle it out. Um, Obviously, you know, we have a little bit more of a star-studded affair on both sides of the court. We have all-NBA, all-star, you know, caliber players. Um, We've also got that juicy narrative of Donovan Mitchell could have went to the Cavs and then he didn't. And, you know, I think both teams during the regular season respectively showed out and made this more interesting. Um, so what's this going to boil down to? Well, you know, obviously Cavs are going to have home court. Um, they've got playoff Donovan Mitchell, which I feel like is something that might have been forgotten about in the common masses because of the issues with the Utah Jazz over the last couple of seasons in the postseason. Um, and their front court, their front court is quite formidable. So, you know, we've got we got a lot of variables here. So I look at this. Julius Randle and Jalen Brunson need to play well for the Knicks for them to win. I trust that Jalen Brunson can do that. I don't know if I trust Julius Randle. Um, the playoffs does sometimes expose him for his shortcomings. And from a defensive mindset, we can make him do some things. Are we doing the hand test? What's going on? Randle's out, isn't he? He's not. Is, is that a, okay? All right. Well, hold on. It's just I'm just I'm, I'm helping change. you out here before you go. I'm going to take the Knicks because Randall's going to go off because uh, Randall Randall's out for at least I would say game one, maybe even game two, and his status is still uncertain. Uh, so, I promise you, I was not going to pick the Knicks. By the way, but <laughs> um... hey, 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 if you if you if you uh, you know, you can go whichever direction you want. I just uh, you were sort of saying he was going to have a big game, and I'm like, I don't even know when he's going to suit up. No, no, no. So what I was going to say was in the playoffs, his games get exposed, right? So he had a point that the last playoff series from his regular season, Jalen Brunson can only do so much as a small guard. Um, Now I'm just reading it up currently. The sprained left ankle is making progress. I don't think that we can safely assume that he's ready to go. Um, But, you know, what we look at is we look at the supporting cast. Right. So when you look at the Cavs, you know that Donovan Mitchell's probably going to score 25 points. Darius Garland's also going to do a solid job with Jared Allen and Evan Mobley defeat too. Right. We're very confident in that's in those four players alone. That's not including the bench who has really settled into their roles as well. When we go to the Knicks, we know that Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle are supposed to score 55 to 60 points a game, with Julius Randle being an injury risk, slash that being the core focus of their, you know, I guess offensive scheme. Who do we go to next on the Knicks? Right, So this is where I feel like the star power is going to carry through a little bit. I know that the Knicks are going to win at least a game and there's going to be mad celebrations and the content that will come out of that will be fantastic. But I do feel like the Cavs, maybe with a bit of youthful inexperience, maybe just teething, maybe just getting caught up in the way game, I feel like they're going to take care of this series in a 4-2 advantage, e.g. they're going to win it in six. Um, But maybe you feel differently. What did you establish? Randall is out at the moment, correct? Yeah, so currently he's day-to-day improving day-to-day. however you want to spin it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I think it's disappointing, and it's always disappointing in any playoffs or final series when not everyone's healthy. Um, you know, bubble playoff or bubble finals, you know, when the Heat lost two starters game one and suddenly it was all lopsided. And uh, it was sort of, um, you know, it's a similar situation here. Randall is a big part of the the Knicks. And uh, it was unfortunate he's gone down with his ankle injury at this time of the year. Uh, if he comes back optimistically, maybe game two, maybe game three, you know, it uh, it helps our cause. Will he be 100%? I don't know. You know, um, they've been playing reasonably well of late. I think the Knicks... But the the Cavs have sort of rolled along all season to the spot that they you know to clinch that home court, fifty one wins. You know, fifty wins is that you know sort of a real threshold for a, a good team. You know, I think and they they broke through that barrier. So look, similar to you, man. Um, you know, I'm going to be boring. I'm going to go Cavs here in six as well. Um, I would have I would have liked to have said maybe have going to a game seven here if Randall was healthy, but I think uh, you know the Cavs can jump out of the gate, grab the first two at home. Um, they're already halfway there. So, Cavs in six. Yo, this is two guys with spare time. I'm Faz, this is Nick. You're probably a basketball fan like us, so hopefully you can throw us an assist in giving our video a like and uh, subscribing to our channel.
And if you've got thoughts, feelings, or even some suggestions, please put them down in the comments section below. And thank you for using your spare time to watch us in our spare time.